I'm gonna show you how to make a cute summery outfit for a doll. First, I'm gonna take some stretchy material. I always use material like this, but it's the best for making doll clothes. It doesn't even have to be that much. This is like a scrap of a t-shirt. I start by cutting a rectangle out of this fabric that is four and a half inches by two inches. Now in the part that's the center, I'm going to cut out a V shape. Something like this. Now I'm going to cut down on the other side and then cut all the way to the edge. On the other side too. Something like this. Now on the entire top part, I'm going to fold it over and sew on it. Sometimes it can be easier to sew in increments, like starting sewing here and then on each one of the sides. Now I cut a thin strip the same length as the other piece. I'm going to fold over and hem one edge of this, like that. Now I'm going to line up the raw edge of this piece with the raw edge of the other piece, but I'm going to sew it on there with extra of it like this, if that makes sense, so that it makes a ruffled edge. So that the bottom of it is ruffled like this. Now I cut two thin strips of the same fabric, and I'm going to stretch it out so that it becomes sort of like thread. I'm going to sew it onto the back of the points of the top and also onto the side so that it makes sort of a sleeve yeah. to make straps. Now I'm going to fold it in half on itself with the good side on the inside and then sew along the back part. Turn it inside out. And here it is on a doll and I actually like how it looks but it needs some shorts. First I cut out two pieces that are three inches long by two and a half inches wide and then some strips that are a little bit longer than them. I hemmed one side on both of the strips. Now the same thing with the ruffles on the top, I'm going to line up the raw edge and bunch it up and sew along. Like this. And the same thing with the other one. I'm going to put them on top of each other with the clean sides facing each other. And then sew almost to the bottom, but stop at the ruffle part. And then unfold it. Now I take another strip and then fold it in half and line up its raw end with the raw end at the top of this whole piece. And sew along. Fold the edge over to make a waistband. Now I'm going to fold it over and then sew up to the part that was already sewn on both sides to make the pant legs. Then there's the remaining open segment in the back. I fold it up against itself and then sew along there. Turn it inside out. Now I cut another thin strip of the fabric and stretch it out to make like a cord and then I'm going to glue this on to the front to make straps to make this cute outfit. Maybe it could use a sweatshirt. Maybe a tie-dyed sweatshirt? Sounds good to me. Okay, then this time I'm going to use white material. I cut two 3x4 pieces and then two 25 by 3.5 inch pieces. These ones are going to be the sleeves. The two main pieces, I line them up with the good sides facing each other and then sew up the side until about an inch at the top. Then I open it up with the good side facing down. I cut a long strip and then fold it in half and then with the raw edge lined up with the other piece, like this, I sew along the bottom. I tug on it slightly while I sew it so that it gets a gathered look. I also do the same thing with the shorter ends of both of the sleeves. Then I turn to the bad side of the sleeve and line up the end of it with this part that we didn't sew in the middle of the two front and back pieces. And then sew all the way to the other side to attach the sleeve. I fold the whole thing over onto itself and fold the sleeve in half so that the bad side is facing out. And then I sew from this side up to an inch before the top. 
Now at the inch at the top, it's unsewn. I open it up like this and then turn the good side of the sleeve towards it and then sew along there. Now I fold both the sleeves in half like this so that the good side is on the inside and sew from the end of the sleeve to about right there on both sides, but leave an opening in the middle for the collar. Turn it inside out. I'm going to leave the raw edge at the top of the sweatshirt because I kind of want it to look like cozy, but it's easy to turn it over and hem it if that's what you want it to look like. Now to tie dye. I add a little paint to a small container and then I'm going to add some water so that it makes it tie dye and that it won't make the fabric crispy. I added some more bands to the sweatshirt and then I use a paintbrush to apply the color onto the parts that I want it to be in. This is what it looks like after I'm finished tie dyeing it. I like the result, especially this part where it's white and then it's colorful. Most importantly, it was tried on a doll. I actually really like the look with this sweatshirt, how it looks baggy but cozy, sort of like pajamas. I made it go off one of her shoulders because I kind of like how it looks rough-ish. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell us what you thought and what kind of videos you want to see. Also follow us on Instagram. See you next time. Ah, summer morning. I could... Skateboard. Or work on my backed up orders or organize my art stuff, or finish reading my comic book, mm. or to stay right here in my cozy pajamas. <laughs>